all right guys uh, welcome back to another video so for an Intune admin it is always helpful to get an overview of the current status of his tenant and the overview of the count of device in the field in this video i would like to explain how you can use logic apps to send a detailed daily report okay so this is the logic app the final logic app that we're gonna build uh, you from the scratch so currently if you see right now uh, it shows the recurrence uh, so it is telling you that how often this would run uh, then we i am using managed device graph api endpoint to get the list of managed device uh, you can customize this endpoint as per your need and uh, you can use the endpoint that you need then we're gonna pass the json uh, the detail that we're gonna get so we're gonna pass it uh, into the json format and then we would be sending an email with all the details that we got from the endpoint uh, so along with the email we'll be also sending it to the team's channel so we'll be looking at how we can go about doing all of these so looking at the final report uh, if i go into my team's channel uh, this is how the final report gonna look like in teams and if i go in my outlook uh, this is how it would look like into the mail all right let's get started so first thing first uh, what i'll have to do is uh, create a logic app so I'll click on i'll go to the logic app and click on add so we'll need to create a logic app so first i'll have to create a resource group logic app then i'll give a meaningful name uh, to the logic app so if you don't know what logic app is logic app is basically uh, a software as a service that offers many po possibilities to automate processes workflows and tasks through low code and integration of different services okay so let me give the logic app name demo or intune notify logic app okay so i'm gonna host this in central us i'll click on consumption plan and uh, zone redundancy has been disabled i'll click on review and create uh, you can change the settings as per your needs but for now uh, to keep everything basics i'll just give the basic steps and click on create all right so meanwhile while it is creating i'll create uh, app registration So it is still getting created. So in order to run the graph API, the basic thing that we need is app registration. So I'll go to the Azure Active Directory. I'll go to the app registration. I'll click on new app registration and Intune Logic App Report. Again, you can give any meaningful name over here. I'll keep it simple. So once you have this app, uh, you need to go to the api permission section under api permission section you need to click on add permission select microsoft graph application permission and then you need to search for device management managed okay there's something wrong So we are in the device and manage devices and read all. Okay, so this is the basic permission that we need to run the API that we're gonna use. Okay, I'll click on add permission. So add permission is the permission has been added. I'll click on grant admin consent. Okay, so based on the graph API that you're gonna use, uh, you'll have to give the appropriate corresponding permission. Okay, so we are all set for now over here. Another thing with that we need is the client secret. So I'll quickly grab the client secret. You can name it anything again over here. I'll click on add. Uh, just copy the value that you get over here because uh, this value would be encrypted once you move out of this page. So I have, I have copied the value of the secret. Okay, so this part is done. Meanwhile, our logic app is also created and ready to run okay so what i'm gonna go I do ahead and 
create a blank logic app the first thing that we gonna add is a reoccurrence okay Oh, there you go reoccurrence all right so the interval i'm gonna keep it one uh day so every day it's gonna run so you can customize this based on your needs you can uh, keep it for minutes per month per day per week any anything of that matter okay so once i've done that i'll click on add new step all right so the next step once we are done with the reoccurrence, uh, next step is adding the graph APIs endpoint. So I'll go ahead and create a HTTP request. So this would be a get request, and this is the HTTP endpoint, uh, HTTP method that we're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna quickly rename this to get graph API. Okay, call graph. API so the API could be anything I'll be choosing a get method and this would be the URL that you would be using so in my case I'll be using HTTPS graph dot microsoft.com forward slash version 1.0 device management forward slash manage device over view okay graph.microsoft.com version 1.0 device management forward slash manage device overview okay once we're done with that um, i'll click on authentication so the api needs the authentication so i'll click on or 2.0 so authority part is what we do not need uh, we need the tenant part so to get the tenant i'll go to the overview section and i can get the tenant id from here i'll quickly go back to my logic app i put in the tenant id audience would be um, microsoft graph so let me just copy this endpoint here so this would be my audience remove the forward slash and then we have client id so you can get the client id from here there you go and secret uh, so the secret would be the same thing that we copied so i'll put it over here so now we are ready with the graph api endpoint i'll quickly save this and run this to get the sample json so it has currently running so once this is successfully run we would get a sample json that we would be using okay there's something wrong uh, the bad request so something wrong with the endpoint let me check again device manage oh something wrong with the spelling over here management management okay looks good now let's try to run it again hopefully we'll get some result this time okay there's still something wrong device okay i think it did not save uh the previous one let me make changes again Okay, let me go to the designer again okay this is the api and yeah so it didn't make any changes management okay so, um let me so once this is done i guess i'll have to click it outside and then save it so earlier it was not saved because we uh, clicked on save button after running the trigger so this time hopefully it will run successfully
there you go so it ran successfully and we got the result that we needed okay so i'll just copy the result i'll go back to the designer i have copied the result that i have got i'll be passing this to a json so the result that we get is already in json but uh, to use this result we have to use the past json uh, let me search for it real quick there you go and the content would be uh, the body if i choose the dynamic part uh, here you go so we'll be using body and the samples payload we need to supply over here so the result that you copied from the result of the previous uh, call we need to paste it over here so this would be a sample data okay uh, to make sure to let this parse json know how the end result gonna look like so let me just save this again so this part is done and uh, now that we got the result of this graph api call i'll be going ahead and adding a method to send a mail so we would be using a built-in connector uh, which is outlook 60 365 connector and uh, we would be sending the mail so we'd be using send mail connector so first thing first you'll need to sign in so I'll click on sign in this should prompt you for authentication uh, you need to provide uh, your login details and once you are authenticate we are good to go so for our convenient uh, of this video i've already copied the steps uh, which we're gonna perform uh, the body of the mail so here the mail email address i'm putting my own email address you can put any dl group or anything for that matter uh, who would be notified of uh, the result of this graph api call subject i'm gonna modify as it is uh, you can give any subject daily report from your logic app okay so that is done and the body part you can uh, use any of the dynamic content which you see over here so the dynamic content is coming from the past json okay so for our convenience i have copied the dynamic content already and i'll be pasting it over here so this is what you get from the dynamic uh, window that you were seeing over here the dynamic content window so you can get any values that you need and you can display it over here okay so this is done and now i think we are ready to go i'll just save it and trigger the report we should get an email on our app uh, on our inbox there you go so we just got the email uh, that uh, this is our daily report have a nice day all the best this is what we have inside yeah and there you go so the mail has been sent successfully okay so the last part is we'd be adding this to our team's channel i mean we would be sending this same report to our team's channel so back to the designer now in order to send this to the team's channel i'll have to create a team okay you can do this for the existing team as well but uh, for the convenience of the video i'll be creating a team from the scratch for the public um, i'll be adding okay team name in tune mdm admins reports okay i'll be creating the team okay so the team has been created uh, i'll be adding few members and okay so i have added the members and now if i go to the app section add more apps
okay let's go back to the channel i'll go on manage teams i'll click on apps add more apps and here i have to specify the name of the web hook web hook okay i may be here it would be web hook oh there you go so incoming web hook so i'll add it to the team yeah this is the team that i want to add set up connector okay something wrong with the connector let's try to add it again apps more apps and web hook yeah there you go web hook add to the teams journal set up the connector okay incoming connector yeah there you go in tune daily report connector you can name it anything that you want you can upload the image of the connector i'll just keep it by default i'll click on create okay you just uh, you just need to copy this the url of the webhook okay so since this is a incoming webhook we have to copy the url i'll click on done once i have copied the url and no further changes is required from this side i'll keep this open and we'll make changes to the uh, logic app okay so back to the logic app we would be adding a new step and here we would need the http endpoint I'll play at http uh, you know, click on post and paste the url of the connector so once you have pasted the url of the connector we should be good to go here the content type should be content type should be json application slash json so the content type application forward slash json all right okay so this part is done and now we would need a similar body so i've already have it ready i will copy this and paste it over here so same thing we would uh, if you need a dynamic content you can copy it from here all the values are displayed here so you can copy it from here okay so once we done it i'll just quickly rename this send this to mdm admins okay so right now i'm done with the step i'll click on save okay now i think we are ready to run this so on this step this is gonna send an email to my outlook app and uh, it will also send a notification to my team's channel so right now we have already gotten an email which gives us the current report and if i go to my teams here it should have send oh the teams failed something is wrong bad payload received by generic webhook let's let's try this again click on designer mdm so the request has to be post which is correct this is okay uh, let me application slash json this is correct content type which is also correct body is correct okay probably this is the part that is messing this up let's let's save this again and try it i'll click on run query so if i go back to my outlook app i've got another email so the email part is still working and there you go it, it did send us 
a team notification and there you go so the same report that we got on our outlook app is now sent to teams channel as well all right that's all so in this video i've shown you the basics of how to create a logic app to query the intune graph api uh, you can extend the example of this uh, as you like for example you can include the service health status or add the status of windows update deployment or anything of that matter so this is not limited to intune you can use any of the graph apis in similar fashion and send the updates to your outlook or teams all right guys uh, i hope you got a clear idea of how to do this through the logic app so if you guys have any other questions or comments regarding the video or you need any other videos please feel free to let me know and uh, thank you so much for your time have a nice day ahead